Hello, this is MakerJ101, and today I'm going to share with you some soldering tips. Okay, so we all hate it when our tips get so corroded that you barely can even use your iron, because it just doesn't melt the solder fast enough, and the solder doesn't stick to the iron. So, usually when my iron gets this corroded like this, I usually um, use a file to um, file it down a bit. Okay, so now that we're done with that, it's pretty much bare copper so now what I usually do is I have this um, can of pipe solder and I could use the stuff that's actually made for soldering wires and stuff but I prefer this because it's much bigger and cheaper you just buy it at the hardware store so I just stick this in here and then stick it in the solder but it works great let me do that one more time see look how much better that is that's way better now it'll melt solder way better and it actually sticks to the iron. Okay, so now that we have it real nice and shiny, there's solder sticking to it all over. Now if you use your iron a lot and you have it sitting here for like five minutes when it's on, it's going to corrode over and you're going to have to redo that. So what you could do is every, I have this um, uh, plastic container of uh, steel wool and if you, this is one way you could do is every few minutes just take off most of the corrosion that's on there. So just going like this a few times and then stick it in our flux again and that keeps it good. But what I do is I have these little um, fiberglass tubes that I stick on the tip when I'm not using it for more than like 30 seconds and that keeps the tip from corroding off and that keeps the tip really good so it, it probably improves the um, tip life by like 10 times I get these little tubes from inside like irons and things like that see here's one here or toaster ovens stuff like that and they work really good okay so now that you know how to improve the life of your soldering iron um, so uh, I'll show you how to solder wires properly um, I, if you're like me and you don't like to um, buy new solder because it's just so expensive, I like to use um, old solder from circuit boards that I get out of my um, solder sucker. And so if you just take your wire and it's bare like this and try to, this is the way I tin my wires, is just heat up the blob of solder and then dip it in, you can see it's not sticking at all. It's just not sticking to the wire. That would be a horrible solder joint. So what I do is I first dip my wire in flux, the just normal pipe flux. Now you can see it's sticking much better. See how good that is? That's what you want. That's like perfect wire there. So yeah, that's how I solder my wires much better. Okay, here's another little tip that I like. Um, because I don't really like these stands, because you have to move them around constantly. I take one of these um, clips, like this, and I bend these two prongs out a bit so that it's more like this. And I clip this onto my soldering iron, and now I have a portable stand that, wherever I'm soldering, I can just set it down, and I don't have to worry about it burning through the um, wires. Okay, so these screw and tips, the kind that you just buy at Radio Shack or your standard like soldering iron, they have screw and tips that when they start to get real corroded, if you don't replace them, they'll get stuck in there and corrode so much that when you try to take them off, it'll just break off right there. And so one way to do it is drill it out and then retap it, but that's a lot of work and then it just happens again. So what I did with this soldering iron is when that happened I drilled it out and drilled also a hole right here and tapped that hole and put a screw in there and so now I can just put a piece of copper wire in there so I can make this I can make pretty much any size tip I want now the problem with this is since I'm using a small gauge copper wire on um, just a normal like 25 amp or something copper wire it it does make the solder iron less powerful so instead of being 
a 25 watt soldering iron it might seem like a 15 watt soldering iron just because this isn't big so if you want to do this um, I would recommend getting a really heavy duty copper wire but the advantage of this is it's very cheap I mean like if you don't like to pay two dollars for the screw in tips because that's how much they are at Radio Shack they're just I think it's a little too expensive but yeah that's what I do okay so if you're into desoldering components I would recommend this soldering gun here um, I think it's about fifteen dollars at Radio Shack this soldering bulb I think it's called is about ten dollars I would I would definitely do that by this one instead of this because it's this one your hand gets so sore from doing this all the time it's just not as powerful either this one much works much better has a little button here that you push in and it sucks the solder up it, this one does tend to get clogged quite often but it works pretty good um, you could use soldering braid but I don't really um, like that very much it just I don't know it seems expensive to me just to suck up solder and you can't reuse this solder too and I like to reuse my solder just because I don't like to buy new stuff because it's just kind of expensive okay so if you never had a soldering iron before <clears throat> and you want one um, this 25 watt uh, standard Ra Radio Shack soldering iron is probably will probably will do what you need it to do um, I've had this one for a few years it served me well um, I think they're about fifty dollars, um, fifteen dollars at Radio Shack. If you're looking for a little bit better, nicer one, this is a sixty watt um, temperature controlled soldering iron. Um, it has this; it can um, be controlled from two hundred to four fifty degrees Celsius. And it also has a really nice tip that if you loosen this little screw here, you can pull it out really far. But yeah, this is. I think I bought it for thirty dollars from Electronic Gold Mine. That's an online um, website. They sell some really good cheap stuff. Um, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching.